welcome to Star Wars Spelt Out. I'm your host, Josh Chairman, and today, quick video. Something's come in the post. If you've seen the thumbnail, it's probably on the thumbnail. You probably already know what it is. If you listen to the new podcast I just did with King Tom Chansky, I also spoke about that as well, but I'm pretty sure what I think it is is here in the box, so I'm going to just open I haven't even opened it, um, so I'm going to do it now, and uh, let's have a look. And then I might even try and show the setup as well because it's going to be a short video i've kind of figured out how to get the phone going on the other camera and get the audio going it might be a little bit amateur hour here so just bear with us if that happens but from all accounts i think it's going to work so we'll just stick with it but we've got a package that arrived an hour or two ago so it's been sitting here um it's very very light it feels like there's nothing in here but i hoping that there is so I'm just gonna get the scissors here with foot you know I'm not gonna muck around I haven't opened this it's completely sealed up I was getting hassled for photos from a friend who I told had arrived but um, let's see if I can get this open what am I doing here there we go Come from Sydney. Hasn't come that far. Well, you know, depending where you live, all things relative. Australia's a big country. So, bubble wrap, good start. This thing is wrapped, 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 wrapped. Some ASMR for you. And again, it's wrapped. And then it's wrapped in another thing. It's like past the parcel. We're doing Lucky's rules, Lucky's dad's rules. There's a like reference. See if you write in the comments below if you get that reference. Probably not a stack of Star Wars fans who do, except most your name's Eric Struthers. Oh my god. I'm having flashbacks to the to the last thing. Oh, I can see something in here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. If it isn't Yak Face himself. There he is. Sand Staff. But the staff is the same as one of the Skiff Guards. So they're actually pretty easy to get. So why pay hundreds of dollars more to get a complete one when you can just, you could probably buy the other figure with the scarf and throw the figure away. Don't throw him away. I'll give him a home or get the staff. But look, there he is. He's in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of wear around, a well, tiny bit of wear and tear, but geez, pretty good. Um, let's not muck around, he wasn't cheap, but all things considered, I got a, a pretty good deal on him. There he goes. He's got a little bit of wear on the hands, but pretty good. Actually, to be honest, better than it looked in the photos. In the photos, it looked like it was a little bit grubby around the face and stuff. And I was kind of going, oh, no, that'll be all right. I can live with, live with a bit of grubbiness. But oh, I should check if that's got the leg on them because it got the proper... Yep, Lucasfilm 1985. He's a, he's a legit. He's not the repro. There is the repro now. The, there is a repro and there's the reissue. So they are floating around. But he is the real, the real deal. There he is, so why don't we... Well, there's not really a place for him at the moment, but what we'll do is, let me get a... Um, let me get a foot stand for him, and we'll put him up now, since we're here. He's got a little bit of rub on his toe there, but tiny, tiny, negligible, tiny, tiny. There he goes. There he is. And I've gotten, I think last time when we did the video, I'd gotten the bases, but not the shelves. The shelves have arrived, they're here. So I'm going to attempt with the camera here <laughs> to try and go over and we'll see what we've got on for a setup point of view, just to sort of make this video run a little bit longer if people are curious to see. So I've got to turn this mic off. I've got to switch over to the phone. It's, it's going to be a whole thing. So just bear with me here. So let's just firstly switch off this microphone.
and then I believe that's working now. So we can go over. Are we getting audio? I think we are. Here we go. There's the setup. You can see that. There's Yakface. Let's pick him up and let's go over and have a look and see what we've got going on here. So you can sort of see the wall of stuff a bit closer. But um, up here, actually, we'll start down here. And this is just the run of all the figures that I've got on these little stands, which were great. This shelf was 80 centimetres long and these things were 40 centimetres each. So they absolutely fit snugly and perfectly along the way. Now that's a little bit snug here, as you can see. There's no rent, there's no order. I had a um, friend of the show, Steel Saunders from Steel Wars, ask what order I'd done it in. I'd really just put them up kind of just so there weren't too many colours that were next to each other and that was about as far as I went. But I did purposely want to put Luke with his blue sabre at the front and pop up R2. Um, but I am going to get another shelf and it's effectively going to go in this spot here. So it's going to run along two shelves and then I'll get the space them out a little bit more because if you go up, I've got the first 12 here sitting just because I had no room for them down there. It's a couple of Jabba's mates as well. So I snoodles and Jabba and then a couple of the other odds and sods that we'd seen along the way there. So the idea is that I'll put, I'll get rid of this stuff on this shelf here some things and um, we'll spread them out along here we'll put Jabba and everything down there and then maybe the top we'll put some vehicles I've got one or two things coming still but let's for the time being where are we going to put Yak he can't sit at the back but we'll just put him as part of Jabba's crew so for the time being we'll see him up here Salacious Crumbs sort of lost a little prominence there we'll pop him in the middle but I think that's a pretty good spot for him for the time being. We'll, we'll look to get him a, a weapon eventually, but I need a few of these. Vader, I've got to get a cape for Vader. That's my OG Vader, though, so I've got to keep him. So that's kind of where we're at the moment. I'm actually considering rearranging them in almost like a spectrum colour. So whether you start with light, white, and go down and try to get a colour thing going, that might work, but we'll see. So uh, there it is. People are curious about what else is on the board here. There's some other stuff. There's my loot. Jedi collection of things, um, Black Series, is, 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 is. a few odds and sods, some of the retro repro things. Um, anything else of interest? Oh, there's my Spider Man Amazing Fantasy number one, signed by Stan Lee. Pretty cool. And yeah, other stuff. Just general crap that you have in your study, really. So I'm going to put this back on, try and put this mic back on and get this to work. Please, please. That's working now, I think. Hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me? I'm getting some stuff on the thing. So it looks like it's working. So that's kind of where we're at, really. The yak face is in. So I think I put in the last thing, there was only one, to le one left, and that's actually not true because we are still one outstanding item, which is Warrock. Everyone's favorite Warrock, everyone's favorite Ewok, Ewarrock. And he's coming from France, so he's on the way. He's in transit um, somewhere across the ocean. I got him from a French eBay seller, no hat, but he'll come. And then also I'll probably do another video after this that has him and one or two other items that are coming. And then if I rearrange the shelf, we'll try and do that again, unless I go back and watch this and it's just a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, people wanted to see what was going on with the yak face. And I'd sort of said that I was, how long that would take and how much it would cost. But there was an opportunity to get one at a good price that was cheaper. And I sort of took it and ran with it and had a bit of extra money that had come in as well. So I was able to do that. So that's it. So all the things are accounted for. So it's really just if we go down the blue snag trail, um, we'll see. We're keeping an eye on that. It's not as unobtainable as I thought it was, but we'll see how that goes. But I think that's about it. So shout out to everybody who's been watching. Um, if anybody else has been following and trying to follow Star Wars Spell on Facebook, I'm tr I managed, I think, to get control of the page back after my Facebook got hacked through the... Instagram, so hopefully we'll be able to post some new stuff on there, promote things, so stick with it, and um, we'll see you soon.